Mark Zaitun, of Head of Strategic Beta at Columbia Thread Needle Investments. We're going to talk all things strategic beta. Great. So how do you define it, Columbia Thread Needle? I, as simply as we possibly can. It is probably one of the most uh, often used and misunderstood terms in our industry. Uh, for us, strategic beta is a passive expression of our best thinking. Um, and I think a, a clean way of understanding how it sits uh, is uh, on this continuum of choice. And we at Columbia Threadneedle believe that all investors and advisors uh, pick their solutions on a beta and alpha continuum. Mm -hmm. On one side is pure beta, so think benchmarks, think S&P, think IFA, where there is no alpha by definition. And the complete other end of the spectrum are hedge funds, direct investments, um, things that are not as uh, sensitive to market movement, with very little beta. And everything that we offer and everything that advisors can pick from sits somewhere along that continuum with either more or less beta or more or less alpha than the other. For example, our active mutual funds would sit probably squarely in the middle, maybe closer to the alpha side mm -hmm. on that larger continuum. You consider our strategic beta solutions which are developed by our active managers, um, but are not as managed as our active mutual funds or SMAs, that's gonna sit a little bit at the left of that mutual fund, squarely in the middle of the conventional benchmark and the active solution. So, I just said a lot, but the point being that strategic beta really is at the intersection of beta influence and alpha insight. Where is strategic beta headed? I think strategic beta for Columbia Threadneal Investments is going to uh, continue to develop along the lines where we have credibility. Uh, where, for example, we are a top tier active fixed income manager. So we're going to continue to develop solutions in fixed income to address client needs. Uh, we'll probably do the same thing on the, act, on the equity side uh, using our research. So to answer more specifically, mm -hmm. I think that strategic beta becomes more and more proprietary to the asset manager's strengths. We have a gigantic uh, opportunity with fixed income. We have an enormous opportunity with our research. We believe that research is the critical foundation of everything that we do. And being able to port that into a strategic beta solution is a very important capability. And we're very proud of our ability to work collaboratively to do that. So, for example, uh, last fall we launched a, a two series of ETFs, Rex and Revs, that are based on the Russell 1000 and the mm -hmm. Russell 1000 value. And working with our buy-side research yeah. capability, we simply overlaid that research and took out the names that we don't have conviction for. This way, a benchmark advisor, or an advisor who likes to invest in benchmarks, cost conscious, focused on delivering just general beta with an, an exposure, can do the same with our solution for the same price, but with the benefit of added research. Okay, and so how would you suggest advisors position strategic beta in their portfolios? I think that advisors should use strategic beta as a way to complement an existing benchmark strategy. So for example, if, you're, if people are invested in just the ag, that's really a single play in fixed income. Mm -hmm. And most advisors will ping pong between the ag and high yield. There's so much more out there. A uh, solution like Dial helps them with a single allocation, have exposure to the opportunity and not to the issuance size. So that's one way. Another way that strategic beta can be used is to, for advisors to lower the overall price of a portfolio because they're going to carve out some of that active solution, mm -hmm. which comes at a premium price, and allocate to that passive solution, strategic beta, which will have the effect of lowering the overall cost. What are your plans for fixed income in an ETF form? Uh, two and a half years ago, we launched Dial, D-I-A-L, uh, which is our multi-sector fixed income allocation fund in ETF format, passive. Uh, it is the top decile performer across the entire category, whether it be mutual funds or ETFs. Um, and it was built by our strategic income portfolio manager. A year later, we did the same thing on the tax exempt side, working with our portfolio manager on the strategic muni side, and we built MUST, M-U-S-T. The exciting thing is that both funds are top decile since inception, both are priced within ETF norms, and we're finding tremendous pickup and acceptance by the advisor community. Great. Okay, thank you for your insights today. Thank you, Maria.
Vivakam.